tu follow so beja haya basi mwanzo tumerejea tuko hapa ndani yake karibuni sana kwenye awamu nyingine <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. It is another brand new year. We thank God uh, we are here. First show of the year. Uh, football is has been going on, of course, after the World Cup. Unfortunately, um, Arsenal is still top of the table. Uh, it is painful. You know, we... We had given, uh, we are hoping that Sam Gituku's Manchester City. You know, I couldn't have any more skia to support this team in Guinea. <laughs> Come on, I'm like, hey, City, see you catch up with these guys. We wouldn't have peace. We wouldn't have peace. Surely, Haaland, do something. But these guys just keep on winning. Credits to them. Uh, I learned a lot. I, I was practicing my, you know, gag reflex so that I don't vomit when I talk about Arsenal. So now I can comfortably talk about them. <laughs> But credit to them, by the way, they, are, they, they have uh, some team spirit. I think it is either Shitera or Arocho who had said give her Teta time. Looks like now the time is paying off. But anyway, took up IV, took a salama, habarigani, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How are you doing? Very okay. <laughs> salama. Yeah. Hey, it's good to see you <laughs> in the New Year. Uh -huh. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. To uh -huh. that game Saba. Yes, see? on the speed. On the speed. Hey, don't we are. Uh, uh, yeah, the rush. <laughs> What a rush. <laughs> hey, Jana and Acheza boy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> someone who is next to me is crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no. But uh, I think you ni, see, ni, mm. ni, ni, in football, Walitoa, Walitoa Kikombe, ya, ya, nini, Champions League, kwa mm -hmm. kwa mdomo ya Man City. So mm -hmm. Man City, okay, amua, wali, I think, wali make, wali make comment. Mm. Hawa? Hawa lazim. In football, in football, when someone, <laughs> or, no, no, not only in football, when someone is down, mm. Unaachana na yanga la wanyanyuke. But again, <laughs> yes. but again uh, that's football. You talked about Arsenal have been, have been in the same situation for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, uh, what I have gathered is that uh, we have never experienced an English coach lifting uh, the Premier League. So maybe uh, we might give Porter time, but to nowhere. Time to know. <laughs> <laughs> the Porter and the proverbial Chelsea Clay. He's not doing well. He's not doing well with it. Um, we'll talk about Chelsea because I, personally, me, I feel you need some more. You need creativity in the mid row, and then also you need firepower at the front. Because yani unawatch game yenu hakuna iyo creativity kumbele na pia ukukatikati. Anyway, you need a Casemiro. <laughs> Aracho. Yes. Happy New Year, my brother. Happy New Year. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to once again mm -hmm. um, congratulate mm -hmm. Argentina. Yes. I said it on this set, mm -hmm. and I think it's Shitera, and uh, I don't know who was also in, on the set, who thought that I'm a daydreamer. Mm. Uh, Argentina lost their first match, mm -hmm. and everybody was on my case. But I was vindicated. <laughs> Congratulations to Argentina <laughs> for doing us proud. Yes. Yep. Argentina lost the first match. Um, Messi could not show. They lost to the sponsors. Yes, <laughs> to Messi's sponsor. Messi joined the brand ambassador was Saudi. Mm. Mm, visit Saudi. So I said, hey, visit Saudi. So why would you visit? <laughs> but anyway, I'm I'm so happy for, for Lionel Messi. And uh, it's been great. Well, let's start by talking about Kenyan football. And the, what, what, yani, Jana Kulukwana Mamambo of course, Arocho is very happy. <coughs> His KCB did the thing. Uh, but not so for others. Uh, well, Gorma here. I know Jara so Jana Jota and to me a message. So, Tuba to say ni me, because I know you're watching. <laughs> Gorma here won yesterday. What do you think about uh, Gorma here's game? Um, no, ladies first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what do you think about the game? I think after their defeat last weekend, mm -hmm. they came up to their senses. Not your first game when I say manga, maybe you guys are still celebrating the mm -hmm. new year, you're mm -hmm. still celebrating <laughs> the, the the what the um, the festival season. Right. So I think after their the their their defeat in the first game, mm -hmm. they knew like this thing, it, if we don't follow up because they need a task are going with this thing. 
So we have to pull up uh, to pull up our socks, mm -hmm. and um, um, and I think they, 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 they are winning now. Will give. They are trying to actually. They are part of their uh, title contender. So I think they win now. And now that Tasca was defeated, the first defeat of Tasca, the un well called unbeaten, mm. Tasca Tasca was defeated um, yesterday. And now I think the the race is open. Mm -hmm. The race is open, and KCB now they are they are there on the top. So mm -hmm. doing very well. <laughs> so the 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 race is open mm. to everyone. To everybody. To be. So yeah. of course, look at the table. Uh, it's Tasca, Zoya, KCB. B. And then Ulenzi, at least as to four, Gormah is now number five. Uh, but uh, points, uh, sana. Uh, so Mutu Akilal Hapa, <laughs> eh? It's going to be crazy. Uh, but uh, let's check team there, uh, Stella's team, because yesterday. Stella, which is your team? West, West and Center. Confirm. Ask confirm. Uh, team, you uh, yeah. I think. Or I FC. I think. <laughs> let him confirm. I. 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 FC. I, FC I, is yesterday was a bad day. You see, Muna Jaribu took a brand to kill a kid. I'm international, you know. <laughs> Locally, <laughs> Locally uh, Sarocho says, Sarocho <laughs> I sympathize. Yes, you sympathize. With the FC. I sympathize yeah. with the FC Leopards. Mm. But again, generally, let's not celebrate uh, for any team winning or losing in Kenya. Mm. I think the bigger picture is reconstructing Kenyan football. Uh, Barry Otieno and his FKF are doing a good job so far. Uh, Arocho predicted that uh, the league will not kick off. Mm. I think we are in... Um, Game seven. Seven. Or eight, uh, rather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some. We are doing so well mm. so far. Uh, we only need proper marketing uh, of the league uh, so that uh, we can place the Kenyan Premier League on that map that all will be proud of. Uh, the ban really had uh, a negative impact on Kenyan football. Uh, we were really taken back some, I think, eight years back. And it's time all of us need to pull uh, towards the same direction, the direction of success of the Kenyan football. And I repeat, uh, FKF are doing a good job. Uh, the National Super League is on. The Kenya Premier League is on, and hatujaskia uh, malalamishi hapa na pale. But uh, let us not relax. We really need to uh, pump a lot of pressure as far as marketing is concerned. Uh, but again, uh, look at uh, the players. Uh, the coach I had also saying that uh, the defense ililala. Mm, mm. Defense the ililala. Part, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. But again, we really need to uh, uh, motivate our players. Uh, defense ililala. Kwanini, it is him to answer us. Kwanini, your defense. So, yeah, defense. Yeah. defense. But also, in his, I, I not use this word loosely, but also yes. in his defense. Uh -huh. Yeah, Alicia prepared him, uh -huh. probably, uh -huh. and they went out and you have certain expectations of a team. But tactically, tactically, I will pose the question uh -huh. why did the defense sleep? Why didn't you uh, remedy yeah, before uh, oh, the game okay. ends? I get what Four just... nil ni mabao mingi sana mm. for a team of uh, AFC Leopards caliber. Yes, so we're talking about AFC Leopards and uh, Bidco. And Bidco. Yes. Uh, uh, literally, they were fried. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, Arocho's KCB is doing very well. Uh, I can equate KCB to English Arsenal. Mm -hmm. They do very well, but ikifika wakati wa kuchukua trophy, they shy away. <laughs> so, uh, Arocho will need to explain to us, KCB haina matatizo ya pesa, haina matatizo ya wachezaji, we have all good players in KCB, but why are we not seeing KCB challenging for the title? Iyo kukuja number two, then kurudi nyuma number three, four, kushuka chini, I don't think the investment KCB is doing is equal to what uh, the players are giving on the pitch. Bandaris, um, uh, Kimani's Bandar is doing very well. Uh, you see, uh, they have halted Tasca's uh, run. And uh, these are the things that uh, we were discussing here uh, some time back, why FC Leopards let go uh, uh, such a local, a good local tactician. And you can see the results that he's posting. Uh, stopping a Tasca is not an easy thing can also compare it to Newcastle. At least they put some bricks on Arsenal, and who, who, who knows? <laughs> well, yeah, Tottenham, we're might, Tottenham, Tottenham might uh, apply the, uh, the final, the final the handbrake. 
Ah, uh, still, as we talk about, hold on, I want to 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 say something because this Bitco FC Leopards game. Um, first of all, looking at some of the clips, we are happy and we like to thank everybody who, you know, people are going to watch the game. Yes, that is a good thing uh, for for football. And I mean, for teams like AFC and God, I don't think they've had a struggle. Look at that. You see, if people are watching the game. People are coming. Uh, back. But muna kungutwa ne. Um, Arocha, what do you think went wrong for that in that, <coughs> that particular game? Or is, is it a problem at AFC? Because they have previously showed some promise. Shikanda has been doing some things. What's going on? Well, well, I, think, I think it was just a lapse. And uh, in soccer times, there are lapses. Um, for FC Lopez to lose 4-1 four, four to Bidco, yes. I was surprised. Uh, I was at the KCB match right. um, when KCB beat Talanta. But what I'd like to say is that to answer, to answer, yeah, to answer your question, uh, KCB won against Gormaya, but for me it was a very scrappy match. Um, it was a match that could have gone either way. Uh, so it was not <clears throat> because KCB was somehow superior to, uh, to Gormaya. And then, of course, yesterday they won against Talanta. But there's a team that I needed to, to give kudos uh, over the last two weeks, that is Police FC. Mm. Uh, police were going through a very tough time. They sacked their coach. Uh, they brought in a new coach, and you can see some fresh breath at uh, uh, police. I, I, I watched their match yesterday when they won against uh, um, Kariobangi Sharks. It's a quite rejuvenated side. Um, and congratulations to the management of Police FC uh, and Baraza, the, the, the new coach. But coming back to Shitera's accusations <laughs> uh, that KCB has so not. These are facts. Yes, but I'm responding to them. Well, KCB <laughs> has been on a very uh, good form for the last three seasons. Mm. The first season, we almost picked the league, uh, if you are not for the FKF ruling uh, that uh, the league was to end by the 30th, which for me was neither here or there. The, the other leagues, even in Egypt, where CAF is, uh, has its headquarters, the league was still on. And that's why I have a problem with this federation. It's just about me making my decision and everybody else has to follow. Mm. So, now, I you there's a problem. You see... No, 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 wait. You cannot say... You, you cannot spoke say, in silence. No, no, no. I want, to, I want to interject before you continue. You said KCB were about to pick the league. But again, was KCB leading? Yeah, we led. We led some time. No, no, no. no. But that particular time we no. were leading... When the league... When the determination was made... Tasca. 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 Yeah. No, I'm just saying that, you know... Uh, so, and why didn't you then pick it up uh, no, no. the next season? Well, what happened, the, the, the next season, we lost some players and the team went down. I'm seeing a very good kind of uh, progress this season. Uh, uh, with the last... I think we played now five, six matches. We lost two, we won three, and the, it's a strong side. Mark my word, um, Shitera, uh, KCB beat a contender, that is Gormaya. As, as it is, Gorma is not a contender. They are contenders. They are number five. You know, look at the last five years. Gormaya might start, might because. not start well, but eventually they come and win. I, I, I want to deal with your accusation that... Use the right contender properly. Gorma is a contender, Tasca is a contender, Bandari is a contender, KCB is a contender. FC Leopard at the moment is not a contender, if you ask me. <laughs> no, I've not talked about FC Leopard. Before, 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 before you end, like, yes. you comparing teams that they made signings, each and every at, at the end of a season with the teams that did not make any signings this season. That is FC Those Leopard. are the events. Those, the <laughs> FC Leopard and uh, uh, Gurmaya, mm -hmm. they are serving a ban whereby they can't, they can't do it. They can't uh, sign any experienced player, which means they're using their youth team to come up, to come and do it, to play for but them. And who do you blame? KCB has been, KCB has been doing, they signed almost, how many players? Almost seven or No, something. no, no. Um, uh, uh, if you check Rabu. Talanta, there is no ghost law at KCB. No, 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 no. no. The, the Talanta, the, the sun player, Banda. You are misleading the, the house. There is no ghost uh, law. You are mis they are not with all, being with all due respect, you know, Madame, you are misleading because I'm not misleading uh, Rabu, the house. <laughs> we are going to class. Your parents have not bought you books mm. so that you can excel. Do you blame me? Who ha I have books. You and, cannot blame me. And, 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 you, you, ha and you, you have books, books. You are not utilizing your books. No. So it, <laughs> you are, you are it's coming not, position it five. It should not be a point. For now. 
You cannot make that as a reference. KCB, and I'm telling you for free, I told you guys and you laughed at me uh, when I said that Argentina is going to win the World Cup. <laughs> no, 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 don't KCB use, is not don't to use that mark. We are don't not use, going to win. Don't use that mark. Don't use that mark uh, to, to, no, to benchmark KCB. No, a prophet <laughs> is no, as good as But this prophet has, has, has <laughs> failed on several occasions. Which other no, occasions? Okay, sure. This prophet has failed on several occasions. Which other? Which other? He's, pegging, he's pegging his winning of the league. But a recent. The, but no. Most recent. Blaming the FKF. No, we are, we are discussing. No, no, no. What I, what I blame the FKF, and I'll say it once again, guys, you know, I'm critical on FKF. Why? Because FKF is the body that has the mandate to land, run the game. When FKF received 1.5 million US dollars on behalf of Kenya as far as, far as the uh, COVID relief fund was concerned, they have to account. You know, if me, I'm, I become the FKF president, or you, you have to account. And when you make decisions that will affect the entire country, but, we have to question. But accounting is not made on a daily basis. It will be made at the end of the financial year. Well, but, it is a day, but it is a daily basis decision. Just, yes. That has just that become it is your decisions. the end of the year. This prophet, this this prophet <laughs> prophesied that the league will not take off. I didn't say that. I said, this, no, 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 I didn't say the league, please. I need that clip. KPL. What I said, I said this. We are going to have issues in the Kenyan Premier League. Do we have them? Because, yeah. why, wait, we don't have a sponsor. Guys, you know, you cannot just run a league that way. But do you have the I'll take my word. So I'll take my word once again. Mm -hmm. Now, this one I want me to, I want to be quoted. Before the end of this season, if we don't have a sponsor, we will have several walkovers in this league. Because there are several teams that will not make it. To play them now, matches. now he's postponing the prophecy. It's fine, it will come. No, the prophecy, <laughs> but how do you, pro you make <laughs> the prophecy is for the future? <laughs> you, you, you have to make prophecy for the future, okay? <laughs> All right, so <laughs> speaking about uh, instead of Kenyan football, uh, FIFA is in Kenya and they will from yesterday, is it until yes. the 11th? Uh, so, um, you know, I think one of the things that uh, we have been asking is what is the clear roadmap. Uh, what is, you know, again, it is not everywhere that FIFA goes unless Kuna hit a laugh or machine. Yes, they don't just walk in. They don't just pop into a country. Let me pick so, that. First yes. of all, I'd like to commend FKF. Uh, the CAF B licensing that was halted just before the ban is currently on. And several re uh, coaches from all over the country are going to get the CAF B license. That's kudos. I'll give you kudos when you do the right thing, but I'll be on your case when you mess. Now, to, coming back to, you, to, to your question, um, FIFA is here, and FIFA is here to chart the way forward. I have a problem with that statement. Mm. Chart the way forward. It is us Kenyans to chart the way forward. And when you see FIFA in your country to chart the way forward for you, there is a problem. So I'm expecting FIFA to address issues, and in fact, in the next two or three hours, um, the minister uh, is going to have a press conference with one of the, uh, the delegation that has come to, to brief us on what's happening. Though I, I don't know how they're going to brief us on what is happening yet. They have not met the stakeholders. I believe that stakeholders should be met, uh, various branches and any other stakeholders so that they have something con conclusive. But the good news is that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Once FIFA is out of this place, we'll have some projection. Right. And <coughs> What, what do you think? Uh, because uh, this side, uh, <laughs> this side here, I seem to be pro pro league, pro FKF. Uh, what do you think is some of the challenges that <coughs> that should be addressed? Because of course we've talked about it here a lot. Uh, that there is a structure issue in Kenyan football. Mm -hmm. There is a funding financial issue. The same, the, there's proverbial books you are talking about. Accountability. <laughs> and there's an accountability. What do you think should be that way forward? Um, I think the way forward is um, uh, when FIFA is here, it's your time. It's like when your presence is here, it's your time to lay down your problems so that they can see on how they can help you. For the first time, I know they, there's a, um, a something that is going on that we maybe in 2027, you're going to, um, we're going to host. Uh, is it? Um, Afcon. Afcon. So uh, first of all, it's a uh, infrastructure. In, in 1990, 1996, we had the same problem. Like we were supposed to host the uh, ho uh, host Afcon, and uh, at the end of it, we didn't have uh, wet, we didn't have um, 
stadiums. And then now, we, we, in 2018, I think something came up about, about that, and then again, we did have stadiums. Now, it is time 2027, it's here, we are talking about hosting the, uh, the and we still don't. And have. we still don't have the stadiums, whereby if you have a, a big game that you're supposed to, even the Chan game, you have to go and play in Tanzania, or we could go and play in the neighboring country. So I think those are the things that are supposed to be, uh, to be, to be addressed. And about the books, of course, accountability has to be done. Mm. Before anything else, accountability has to be done. Of when when the, the stadiums were given to be renovated, someone came and said, now we are okay, we can host games here and and Pesa ilikulua, ama pesa ilienda wapi. Because at the end of it, until now we are saying the stadium are not ready. And there's someone who said the stadium are ready to host what? The games here. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think the lay down of um, the infrastructure of the stadiums, the lay down of what is happening now in the, in the, in the league, like um, how are we going to make our, our league even being broadcast to other things? Like a lot of things that are supposed, the ban was lifted, but after the ban was lifted, we still have the things that we haven't been, been we have to, to do. Like how are we going to market? They have to learn a lot of things from FIFA. FIFA need to give them tips on how are we going to market our league? How are we going to, to do this and this and this and that? Because you're the head, help us to, do, to go through all these things that we have here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jatena, do you think there is hope, especially that Af 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 we have called it the dream because, <clears throat> like I said, and like uh, she has pointed out, um, there is no infrastructure. We, I think uh, the closest place that we could play is Bukungu. <laughs> <laughs> but, however, you know, we've mentioned it on this show that uh, it is time that uh, the government takes sports generally seriously but also football seriously so now that this it has been stories you know that's what it has been yani ile tukupigia mbuzi kita wamesema stadium oh infrastructure we will we will we will when will we do you think there's hope that we can actually put our house in order in time to host uh afcon in 2027 the, the cso in a certain cup uh, in Western. Mm. Probably you can listen to him mm -hmm. and then uh, we to hear, deduce. then we can dissect what Dissect. He... All right. If we have the the clip, yeah, Babu Nawamba in uh, Western, maybe we can uh, play it. Uh, Let's listen. In African Cup of Nations. Namina Yuamu Miasi Complex Sports Center will be one of the venues Ambazo team is going to choose hapa when we host the next African Cup of Nations. To begin my course. Na juu api ya dukirikiana na serikali ku. We are going to complete Bohongo International Stadium. Toko na mpango wa kujenga viwanja kumi na ine katika Kakamega County. That is something we are going to collaborate with the national government. Jose Mwangea na mwishimwa rais wetu mpendwa akasema is ready to invest 100 million shillings hapa kakamega ili tuwe na viwanja kuminaini. That journey starts with a long program which involves developing football from the grassroots and especially at the youth level. We have also set the target of uh, Kenya hosting the Africa Cup of Nations in 2027. That will be part of that program, part of the journey to the World Cup 2030. This will be unveiled officially by His Excellency President William Ruto himself. So this was just to test. If we are taking football to the grassroots, what should we expect? What kind of talents are available here? Okay. What kind of talents are available? This uh, one, Stephen Chitera, if there is an amb ambassadorial post you have, is the ambassador of grassroots football. Grassroots, <laughs> grassroots football. We've talked about it so much. Yes, and yeah. uh, you can clearly uh, see what the CS is doing, uh, taking it from the grassroots coming up. And I believe uh, it's possible. Uh, 2027 is how, how many years away? Three, four? Three, four years. Let's say three because we don't count 27. Yeah, okay. Yes. Let's say three. If the government is serious and uh, uh, let's uh, say uh, the retired president Uhuru Kenyatta uh, did so much in as far as uh, the roads, uh, the road network is concerned, uh, then the biggest mathematics uh, or the legacy I would 
hand to President William Ruto is sports. If he can identify uh, four areas where he can put up state-of-the-art stadia. And you realize Kenya is a sporting nation from athletics, football, rugby. If he can put up four stadia, I think combined with the national stadium in Tanzania, we can host the 2027 AFCON. It's possible. Uh, it may seem to be a very wide dream, but I support the CS. It's very, very, very possible. Number one, uh, as you said, the FIFA team is in Kenya. Uh, there are some issues that are yet to be resolved. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, the FIFA ban was lifted, FKF, uh, is back in office, but is a, I would say it's not a complete FKF. We have the president still out uh, on some charges. The acting uh, president, who is the deputy FKF president, Pe uh, Petra, is running the federation. But we have not seen her actively uh, uh, doing uh, this job. So. Uh, I believe uh, FIFA uh, has to sort out that mess in the FKF so that we have a team that will run football without uh, any uh, problems emanating from outside. And to me, let me support this dream. I love football. We can do it. Kenya has talent. I once again repeat it. Go to the grassroots. If you want to uh, that uh, match at Mumias Complex, the stadium was full up to 7 uh, p.m. Uh, in, into the night. That shows you that Kenyans have appetite for football. We love football, but uh, we don't have the environment where we can express our love. You cannot express uh, the love of, of football on the streets. It can only be done in the stadium. <laughs> so if there is this one thing that the president can do, and I'm happy <coughs> he has been quoted by the governor, Kakamega, the governor yes. that he has promised some cash to put up stadia in Kakamega. He has been quoted by the CS Ababu Namwamba saying that this is a project that the will president launch. will launch. Yeye mwenye. Yeye mwenye. Mm. And I believe this can be a very big legacy for the president if we can host the AFCON 2027. Then that propel us to World Cup 2030. It's possible. So how many years is that? Yeah, it's well, it's enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, we'll have uh, achieved some of the vision 2030 uh, that we laid into that uh, 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 roadmap by the uh, late President Kibaki. Is the one who put down uh, the vision for this country in terms of economic development, uh, social development, and football is part of the social de development. And again. Uh, topping up on the economic uh, development of this nation. Well, Football we, is a very big business. We, if the CS can <coughs> really take it up and run with it, mm -hmm. Kenya will be respected in the continent. It will. Uh, we are all hopeful. Yes. Very hopeful. Because of the love we have for football and country. Uh, but we cannot deny that it's going to take a lot of work. Mm -hmm. just, just to pick on what, uh, I think this is the only thing that we share with Shitera today. No, we share because, so much. Because the next topic, I'm sure we're not going to share. We share so much. But there's one thing that I, 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 I believe in this government. Mm. There's no any other president, I'm sorry to say so. Of all the presidents that Kenya's had, there's no president that was, who has loved football than this current pre president. I have two reasons. President Moy loved football. But no action. He built, wait, wait, he built Kasarani wait, Stadium. Wait, I have a reason. He I have, built Nyao Stadium. Wait, wait, I have a reason. I'm just trying to justify my point. Look at the fact that this is the first president who has come up with a national tournament. This is a national tournament called uh, Bottom, Bottom Zam Tournament, where each and every player from any part of this country, in Turukana, in Sambur, or any part, is going to enjoy playing soccer. And all this will come, culminate in a national finals that will be held here. I've never had uh, another president have coming up with such a, uh, a program. Wait, Shitera, hold on. I will, I will, I will well, just remind on. you, I'll just remind yeah. you before you proceed, we had the Moy Golden Cup. That was which, not... Which, which, which was a tournament. Wait. I remember Madara United 
uh, um, lifting the trophy, and it was not in the Premier Sh Shitera, League. You are, Remember? You, you, you spoke in silence. No, but I have to, to correct respond to, where... <laughs> to respond to Moe Golden. Moe Golden, Golden Cup was not Moe's initiative. It was the Federation's initiative, and they gave it a name, Moe Golden. It was not. It was a cup. Uh, to a knockout tournament that was named after Moi. But this is a tournament that is going to be driven by the government, financed by the government, uh, supervised by the government. So football is run by the Federation. No, 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 no. In the, uh, the, when the president made his speech, he never mentioned the Federation. And that is Wait. now that is now where they Shitera, will clash with the FIFA. Shitera, Shitera, yeah. Uh, you spoke, that is where they will clash with the FIFA. You spoke in silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Easier. You spoke in silence. It should be it's sanctioned, it should be sanctioned by the Federation. Wait, uh, Shitera, let me just help you. Let me help Shitera. What the government is trying to do is trying to make sure that each and every corner of this country is represented as far as that tournament is concerned. Whoever will run it is either here or there, but it's financed by the government. And for the CS, this is the first CS who we've seen to be vibrant as far as football, as uh, sports is concerned. This is a, 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 a CS who you will see him in a, in a golf tournament today. The next time you will see him um, uh, shaking hands with Okutoi as far as uh, tennis. Uh, tennis is concerned. The other time you see him in Funyola uh, for, the, for, for the tournament that was going on over, over Christmas. We've been having ministers we only see in funerals, for lack of a better word. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that this is the government that has shown seriousness <laughs> as far as sport is concerned. Right. And, and, uh, and, 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 Kidogo, I, I, I remain silent okay. to give him time. <laughs> yes. To give him time. But I want to correct Arocho. Uh, we have yet to realize uh, what this government will do in sports. Uh, but do you agree the, it's a good start? The, uh, wait, I, I finish and then I'll come back there. You, I want you to explain the, what Arocha says. Let me also the, interject you. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, it's a good start. start. But I've said so. Okay, okay. I've said it's a good start. We can host AFCON 2026. Very good indeed. But Proceed. going back, correcting him, mm. Mze, the late uh, President Daniel Arap Moe, may his soul rest in peace. Mm. He did a lot in football. There is no president who has ever come close to what uh, the late President Moe did. <laughs> president Moe is the one who put up Nyayo National Stadium in 1983. We didn't have Do you a... know how Nyayo Stadium came wait, up? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Do you know wait, how it came wait, up? Wait, wait. It was under whose leadership? No, no, no. How did it wait. come up? And Can I'm... I help you? What happened with Nyayo Stadium? We were supposed to go for an Olympic um, that Kenya did not attend. You see, he has interjected no, even without... No, you're, you're misleading. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have... Rusa. Rusa. Okay. Rusa. No from the chair. You, she, she, what happened? And the chair. We were supposed to go for, um, I don't know, it's 84 Olympics or something. Then Kenya did not make it because of some, some political reasons. The president said that, okay, the finances that we were to uh, um, use for the Olympic, let's use, use a stadium. I, I don't, with all due respect to President Moy, I'm not saying that he did not do much, but if there's a president who has taken sports head on, in the sense that this is the first tournament that is going to be financed, supervised. Can I finish? Uh, Can I finish? You no. see now, you see, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you see now, the finances that were to take the team to, uh, to the Olympics. Olympics, we built a stadium. Mm. Under whose leadership? Moi. Moi. The only thing that wait, I wait, I finish. Wait, I finish. Don't interject. And Don't interject. Let me put <laughs> it up. Moi leadership. Let me put it up. I've not even finished. I've just okay. started. Okay. You see? Okay. A government, I think in 2008, where Coca-Cola had requested to revamp <laughs> Nyayo <laughs> National Stadium, a government that did not have interest in sports put a halt onto that plan. You see? And other things we cannot yeah. mention on They it. were not using <laughs> government's <laughs> money. Some, an investor is coming to put Nyayo National Stadium to the standards of international football. It was halted. Then you come and say that Moy did not love football. In the history of sports, we host the All African Games in 1987. Yeah? That is when Kasarani Sports Complex was built under whose leadership? So tell me, since 1987, when have we ever hosted such a, a, a sport of uh, that magnitude. In, in William Samoy's Ruto regime. And yes. you've said it. In that is a prophecy. Yes. I'll give it to and, you. And uh, you're the one who said it. That 
in his uh, in his regime he started the projection you know uh, this government is not just talking about hosting afcon without doing anything they've started by the that's a, that's wait, a good wait, one. you spoke in silence this... before i let uh, her speak uh, Sitera, when <laughs> you think of, but I, have what? i have i not uh, given uh, a lot of facts Yes you have but I'm also yes. giving you I'm building my case you see, I'm saying I will give it to you because you are a prophet <laughs> what we are doing now what we are doing now these are things that are yet to materialize I give it to them because it's a good plan and I've said uh, CS Ababu na Mwamba has a good plan to host Afcon 2027 is possible if we put up state of the art state infrastructure of the roads are there let you us, see we, you, you see you see uh air transport road transport to mombasa to kakamega eldoret uh, to eldoret kisumu. to kisumu they are there then put up four stadia one in kakamega another one in mombasa another one in nairobi and put another one in machakos we can host it it's as simple as that but since we have not done it bado benchmark ni moy i can only give it to you <laughs> we are relying on a prophecy. Prophet Arocho. But me I have I have I have Let told her. you Moy did it. Okay. I think we are we're going in the right direction because it is something <laughs> that is in the in our present mind. Thank you. Like when something is in 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 the present mind you know he's going to do Thank it. You. it will be itching in his mind that I would have made a promise. Money. You made a promise to do A B C D E F G H. You made a promise but to I do agree. a bottom up tournament. And that you. is why I, I wrote, na, um Shitera I I can support Shitera too because in the time of when, when president Moy he was was a may his uh, soul rest, rest in peace when he was the president there was something in his mind about the sport and that's why all these stadiums were built yes. all everything that happened in sport happened so we can keep, we give a uh, uh, late president moy kudos for what he did and now we want to see what our, our, our the current president yeah, will do. We'll do. Right. that is the okay. benchmark that, that's fine the, thank you do you realize do you realize <laughs> boy good. do you realize at it least okay. boy had a vision in each and every i think district mm. we had a stadium moy stadium in voi kenyatta stadium in uh, kisum right hey. uh, yeah yeah we had at least a stadium <laughs> kipchoge keno stadium in eldoret yes they were not to that level but yeah. at that time he tried his best remember remember president <laughs> moy never missed <laughs> a harambe stars match that was an emotional support to the okay. can i promise Aya. before we move on yes prophecy since william samoy ruto was elected we've never played an international match william samoy ruto was a sportsman at wareng high school william samoy ruto was a volleyball captain this is a sportsman i promise you'll be seeing him in the but have i have i have i have i denied you'll be him in the yes. wait okay have i Can denied we... i'm the one who is supporting you know government. both of you are on the same on the side. same page yes. it's only that arocho <laughs> wants to differ with me <laughs> no. on issues that okay. are not different hold on okay what we have agreed here what we can agree is number one uh, the current government is indeed committed committed correct however again and which is our role we will continue to remind them put them to task watch point out errors clap when they're doing well but again we cannot deny that it's going to, it is a almost herculean task but is it possible it is it is possible. possible so we'll wait and see how that goes on let's now go over to uh, the english premier league so that uh, shitera do you want us to uh, go there that's <laughs> no 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 no, no. Huh? I'm satisfied. Okay, let's start I'm, I'm let's start with satisfied. the with the Chelsea game here where Chelsea since the Potter has come in the Chelsea clay has just not been hajakuwa kifanya ile mambo. Kufinyanga. Ai au mfinyanzi hivi anapata shida kidogo. look at what happened. Of course uh, like you said ni kama City ilisema nyinyi ndio mlifanya tukakosa Champions League wacha tuwaonyeshe formation wakawakunguta nne sijui kwa tukana hizo highlights as we speak because of time. Shitara, from your own analysis, let's give you the benefit of kicking this off. What is the problem at Chelsea? Uh, the problem at Chelsea is both uh, the fielding of players, the formation of the play, and at the same time, the injuries. Because um, I don't see the reason why uh, the owner is giving Graham Potter time after a series of losses actually out of seven matches Chelsea have only won 
one match against Burnmouth. Mm. I don't see the reason why he decided to sack Thomas Tuko, a winning coach, to give Graham Potter time. Because at the moment, Graham, Graham Potter actually told uh, fans that this is post-Abramovich era, meaning uh, he will not be sacked. But look, uh, the mentality at Chelsea now is a Burnmouth mentality, Brighton mentality. But again, look at the game that Chelsea played against Manchester City. He put up a very solid formation in the first Which half. Which one? The Premier League. Oh. oh. Yeah? That Chelsea lost 1-0. Uh, let me refresh. See, Prophet sometimes No, when you forget. say uh, Chelsea versus... Now, uh, Manchester City. Yes, which one? They're I said the Premier League match. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, he started a very formidable team, in my view. Zakaria in the middle, uh, who really thrived in that space. Uh, up front, it was a bit bland. And a good coach would analyze uh, where are my weak points and try to sharpen uh, in the upcoming matches. When I saw the lineup against Manchester City in the FA Cup, I knew this is a lost game because the best player that performed uh, during uh, the Premier League match was benched, Zakaria. Chukwemeka was benched. He brought in fresh legs. The best player this season for Chelsea, Thiago Silva, benched. Second best uh, player, uh, Riza Balaga, in, but with a porous defense. Look at the signings Chelsea is making. These are signings that uh, even Aston Villa cannot make. <laughs> because what Chelsea is just you? out. Uh, <laughs> you, you just shout a name and they are on him. You get? <laughs> so does Chelsea have scouts? You see, the, 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 the transfer policy that was at Chelsea when Bohley took over, he, he broke the system. Yeah, uh, Peter Cech left, uh, Maria left, uh, now he's in charge of signing. Does he understand football properly? He doesn't. So, uh, in my view, the problems at Chelsea are bigger than anyone would ever imagine, uh, leave alone the, the, the injuries, because uh, a team is of 11 players. You'll say N'Golo Kante is out. Mount, but Mount No, no, Mount is in. Oh, Rhys James, Rhys James Stalin. is out. Sterling is out, but the main person For or the key person, well. the key person that they say that we are missing is Kante and Rhys James. And coincidentally, the one match that Chelsea won against Burnmouth is when Rhys James returned. So it shows you that uh, <laughs> there are players that uh, are adored uh, at Chelsea or when they are in, they will make things change. But that, that's not the reason. It's time the coach put up a first 11 that will work. Look at Arsenal. Arsenal, uh, they have uh, a number of players out. Uh, Gabriel Jesus is out. Uh, the likes of uh, Smith Rowe are out. But he keeps winning, you see? That is the spirit that should be in the team. Nketia comes in, he scores. Uh, 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 Saka is in, he scores. Granit Zaka is in his course. Mm -hmm. You see, so how do you inspire your team? There is no inspiration at Chelsea as we speak. And no inspiration. The only right. thing that we are praying, mm -hmm. you don't get relegated. So do you think... Allah. Do you think... The, you think up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are only praying we are not relegated. Do you think your coach and our former coach are the same? Yeah, yeah, Moyes. <laughs> No. These are very, no, 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 Moyes. These are coaches who are very good <laughs> at mid-table clubs. Mm -hmm. Moyes was very good at uh, Everton. Uh, this guy, uh, Graham Potter, was very good at Brighton. Mm -hmm. But then you give them a bigger task. They fumble. In a fumble. All right, because you've comfortably dealt with that, uh, we'll go, because we have like six minutes, uh, let's talk about Wolves and Liverpool. Liverpool, uh, what do you think of Liverpool's game? Because Liverpool... Wanangara, then Wangari, Wanendelea, Wendelea. But surely, at least, man, me, I'm very happy when I see Liverpool, first of all, suffering <laughs> our arch rivals. And I'm happy that finally people will 
this season have really understood what Sadio Mane, Mane used to do, to do. in yeah. that team. What, what do you think about Liverpool and even their Wolves game? I think you've already said they are miss, they are, they, what they're missing. Mm. They're missing the person who will replace Mane in their team. Mane made Salah to shine. And that is what those people did not think about. Nunes is there, but I think kuna kuanga. Unajulele time, unasemanga kwa mimi in my career, there's a time that Kashetani kana kujanga. So I think... Kashetani ya Lukaku. Kashetani ya Lukaku. Ime mkujia kidogo. But I think for me, um, I don't think, like, I, I, I said give him time, he will perform, but I don't know what is going on. Do you know there's a time that Nunes was being compared what? to Haaland? Mm. Yes. They were in the same conversation. Even the hairstyle. Yes. <laughs> But for now, I think... That one I is think in double digits. <laughs> in <other>. January, <laughs> they should just go on and s sign a player who can do the donkey work. We are in January. Mane was doing. Oh, we are in January? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> do, they should sign a player to do the donkey work that Mane was doing. Mm. Mane was doing a lot, of, a lot of donkey work there. So they should go out and sign a player who will do the donkey work. Mm. They can sign even the big names they want, but if they don't have the energy that money had. Utility. Yes. Mutua, Kiwain Rooney. Everywhere and, every, and doing everything. That is Ngolo Kante. Yes, Ngolo Kante. What is missing? He has been given a contract up to 2027, yeah. uh, when he will be hosting AFCON. Okay. <laughs> Arocho, as you talk about uh, if you want to weigh in on either Liverpool or, 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 uh, Chelsea. or Chelsea, also then pick up the conversation on uh, the inform Manchester yes. United. United. Manchester yes. United. Seven games. I don't want to waste my time <laughs> on Chelsea and uh, Liverpool. Please. Surely. No, no, no. You spoke in silence, um, Shitera. But just to a word on, on Chelsea, I, I think Chelsea, they, they've lost their uh, psychological strength. There's a time that Potter was there and they won some few matches. Psychologically, they've lost. And I think the fact that there was a lull uh, when the World Cup was on mm -hmm. has not really uh, uh, give, given them an edge. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest for them has been negative. It has been positive on other teams. For Liverpool, you know, soccer is about balance. And... Uh, I, I echo your sentiments that Mane was an instrumental player because he could bring the balance. Mm. Um, you might not be having a good defense, but when you most of your time, most of the time you're attacking, then you keep your opponents very busy defending for them to think of attacking. Mm. So that is more or less what's happening at, at Liverpool. The balance is not there. The weight that was quite strong up front is no longer there. For Manchester United, I think they're just breathing a fresh breath. Someone was saying that um, uh, Christian Ronaldo was the bad old man. Uh, that one is neither here or here, there. I think they, they've just got, gotten their groove. Um, they, they have a lot of uh, flexibility in, uh, in players. Uh, you bring in Rashford, he'll do his. Bruno uh, Fernandes. Yeah, Miguel bring, Borges. Uh, you'll see. <laughs> Casamiro. And, and, and Casamiro, what, wow. That's what makes a, a team well, tick. A welcome surprise, yes. When not only one person does the, the, the job. Mm -hmm. At Manchester United, at the moment, you are seeing everybody else is doing his job. Even Harry Maguire, who everybody thought was done, <laughs> uh, he went to the World Cup. He rejuvenated himself, and you can see he's holding. One thing that I've not really understood about Manchester at the moment is the fact that Luke Shaw is somehow playing in the central defense, mm -hmm. and he's doing it quite well. Uh, and you, you realize that towards the end of the game, he brings in Harry Maguire, which, well, I've not really understood, but if it's working, don't fix it. All said and done, Arsenal is the team of the moment. Uh, at times Painfully I'm, so. Yes, painful so. Uh, at times I'm critical on Arsenal, but I think I'm just critical to make sure that they push on. They need to push on because the fact that they picked a draw, the last match they had for the league was not good mm -hmm. uh, because it gave uh, Chelsea, uh, sorry, uh, Man City uh, that morale to push. You can see Manchester United is also sneaking in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Newcastle is also sneaking mm -hmm. in. So that draw brought in a lot of attention on Arsenal. Mm -hmm. They need to keep on winning so that they can keep the rest at bay. Uh, winning against and Tottenham. So yeah, that's what I've I wanted to say. Seen, I've yeah. seen him talking about uh, Harry Maguire and feeling the pain. Harry Maguire, like, why is he coming in? So I think he's on his way to Villa, most probably. Yeah. That's why I said when he was playing for in the World Cup, he was, on, he was shining because he wanted to get out of Manchester United. Mm. So he, on his way to Villa. Let's see. Well, let, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about Ronaldo last. Let's talk, since you in EPL, let's talk about Sunday. There are big Saturday and Sunday this weekend. We have the battle for Manchester. And then we also have the North London Derby as well. So Manchester United is going to play Manchester City on Saturday. The Prophet? prophet. I'll, take, I'll take the prophecy first. Yeah. Manchester United will go, is going to lose. Mm -hmm. 
against Man City, <laughs> then Arsenal is going to that be. That is your team, you know? No, it's my team. You know, I'm, I'm a realist. Yes. And that's why I'm a good prophet. Uh -huh. You know, when you're a prophet who is not, who cannot see past your team, then you're a wrong prophet. So, Man U loses Manchester against United Man will use, lose against Man City, mm -hmm. and then Arsenal will beat Tottenham. My prophecy. Your prophecy? Bold Grealish. Why are you looking at Bold the way? person who can supply uh, <laughs> the, the, the ball to, Hull, to Haaland. Because Haaland doesn't Imagine know how eh? play Yakirudi Numa. Like in your team, the problem with Manchester City is everybody from from the defense going for, forward has the potential of being a striker. And you want to move to. They just move, score, but, come back. But, move, score, come but, back. But, but, can do for me. But, me. For a, good, a yeah. good analysis Tottenham. that... Like you to Funga 92. Tottenham, Tottenham, Arsenal. A good as analysis... You only Arsenal, I think. A good analysis, a good analysis yeah, that um, Manchester United can pick uh, for Manchester City. Look at how Chelsea tackled Manchester City in the Premier League. Premier League. Actually, um, Chelsea hit the woodwork twice. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Haaland did not score. Yeah. How Chelsea managed uh, Haaland should be your homework. Mm -hmm. That game, how Manchester City is uh, coming up, uh, leaves so much uh, question marks on whether City will win or not. To me, I'll give it a, I'll give it a draw. It's a derby. At uh, Arsenal versus uh, Tottenham, uh, I'll give it to Tottenham. 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 Okay. Abasi. Mimi ni na mimi ni kona mugu bere ya kuamba Manchester United pale 92th. Dunaza shinda Man City. At least. Alafu. Arsenal wata. I mean, that's an interesting game. Arsenal, I think, because of their form, they were mean. But also remember, this other side, Sony slowly come back. He had a loss of. He had a loss of confidence in some... Two games. Two, two game. games. two games should, and Harry, should give and this... Harry, the two games Harry should Kane give. at Maguire. Harry Kane is also back to... Two, that, that, as I'm saying, two games should give Tottenham and Manchester City uh, some information on how to play. The game against uh, Tottenham... Uh, the game uh, Newcastle played Arsenal, Chelsea played Manchester City. If... Tottenham can pick from where Newcastle left, and Manchester United pick from where Chelsea, Chelsea left. Yes. The results will be different. All right. Well, that's that's. Uh, tell us your predictions as well, to Tawambia. Mimi mwasema mimi ni na mungu that there'll be a rush. 92th kanyo kode kode inside na tushinde yoki tu. Aya basi. Um, talking about uh, one of the biggest stories also as we wrap up is one Cristiano Ronaldo who's now in Saudi Arabia. Just a quick check for you. To travel to Saudi Arabia is 60,000 Kenya shillings. A ticket is about 15,000 Kenya shillings if you want to go and see Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, but they're talking about he can't play, I think, the first two, two, matches. two matches because of his ban over in the Premier League. And uh, uh, Newcastle have also quashed the rumor that uh, you are qualify. Oh, and as a Chukwa Ronaldo. Uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. What do you think about this move? Uh, you had said it's uh, bad omen is neither here nor there. No. But Ronaldo, first of all, the money he's going to get is great. And what he's done, even just for football in that nation, already mm -hmm. the fan base, they had 200,000 followers. Saizi <laughs> wako uko 8 million waki andele. Oh, Peter uh, Arsenal. Hey. Crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, for me, it's, it's a good move. Uh, the guy's done. I, I don't think he, he could be on top of his game for the next eight months. Mm. Mm, he can do another one year in uh, Saudi. You do you think? Do you think? Do you think wrong. this this move, because of just the contention, at least in the public discourse, is informed by the fact that Argentina, that Messi now has. Uh, well, you know, it kind of ends the debate. I'm a shina alka, but I'm a shina. Messi, I'm a shina. Okay, so Messi the goat. Do you think that this move was informed by that? No, no, no. Um, Ronaldo made his mind way even before the World okay. Cup. Uh, and I, I, on my Facebook page, I said that he's going to Saudi Arabia and he's going for, to play for this team. So this is something that he made. In fact, for me, I think he was just pulling tantrums at Manchester United to have a reason to leave. A good move, go make money. Mm. Uh, for me, I think uh, one thing was, uh, you know, when you're playing, you need that peace of mind. Sikila mtu ananusa penye umeenda. Ah, leo ame tupia coach mkono. Today he has done ABCD. Today he has done ABCD. I think for me, I think the move was uh, again for his peace of mind. Like I need a place where I can relax, just play football and come back. And trust you me, uh, the way uh, uh, Arashi is saying that Ronaldo is done, 
you will see another surprise of him coming back after mm -hmm. the media has cooled down, him coming back and doing the to, thing. To Europe. And the, even Saudi Arabia is admitting some of his loss to girlfriend Waki Akuja Ishina. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying, Ronaldo the brand. Una the, hadi, the goat. Hey, yeah. Hadi, Hadi, nation in a change. Mm. Ni, ni, ni kama Policies. Tuseme, hey, ni kama constitution. Ni kama tuseme <laughs> msani Akuja hapa. <laughs> Kutoka da Jamaica na serikali he legalized weed. Sorry for another. For that time. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> and then he's, he's going say? to make moves. I think most of them big names are going to stay for Saudi Arabia. For Saudi Arabia. Some of them at least uh, are now yeah. considering. What do you think? I think uh, it's a good platform to retire, as Sarocho said. But uh, the most unfortunate thing uh, is the termination of a booker's co contract to yes. free up space for him. Uh, I think that should not have been the reason. Uh, he should have just... Uh, joined in and uh, and uh, and uh, competed on, a, on on an equal platform, mm -hmm. but again, um, to me, I think he has elevated uh, the football standards of uh, uh, that club even before he steps in the pitch. Uh, it's a good uh, gesture, but let him retire in peace. Yeah, we, we shall wait. Ronaldo, yeah. you can never know. <laughs> He's he loves it's a to play the football. All right. <laughs> well, we like to say Asante Sana. We have given our predictions 92th. But Mukiona to mefungwa tattoo by half time. Musini tafute. But me, bado na amini to naweza kwa skuma pake 92th. Pale Rashford afunge pale. Hatari kwenye lango. Hatari kwenye lango. Bao. Na tushinde yo game 2-1. Ama ata 3-2. It, it can be a high octane game. 2-2 two, two until 90th minute. Yeah, it's Fuke possible. And, it's and remember, we also have VR on our side. Mm. VR. Okay. Uh, how I do it, but I can't retire. Um, for Arsenal and Tottenham, that's a very interesting game. Like I said, because of, because of Sun and Hurricane, those two uh, somehow are Meru, are Meru de Root. Watch out. Watch out. It could be also a very interesting game. All in all, it's going to be a beautiful footballing weekend, and you can give your predictions as well. Remember also to check out shabiki.com to go and see where you can place the, bet. the bets. www.shabiki.com. Remember that to bet responsibly. Tafadali, kuja utumie pesa ya rent, his school fees ya 22nd, unawekelea kwa bet. Julia, tame ni miambia na kupeleka na kuru for the weekend. Very good. Na shabiki. Very good. Adwane wadhi na kuchi. Let us go. Newly, <laughs> tutakuwa pale hivyo na kuru, tufanya mamambos na majambos. Basi, thank you so much. We, it is so good to be back. We are happy we made it yeah. in this year. The, could this be the year Arsenal lift the cup? Could this be the year? It can never. I dare say, mungu, <laughs> tusaidia. Hawata nyamaza. Hawata nyamaza. But that has never stopped anybody before. If you are not working, in the words of Peter Tuna Raburu, usisumbue mungu. Tufanya kazi. The Arsenal have worked yes. their way up. Successfully people look like you. Full stop. <laughs> <laughs>